Take off my makeup with me, Venom edition. I really don't want to take this off because I actually love it. Just a little disclaimer, you're probably not meant to take it off like this, but I just want to get it off as quick as I can. I'm just going to like peel it. Oh my god, look at that tooth. Ah! Oh my god, that's mad. My hair is literally rock solid on this side from hairspray. I really don't know how to go about getting the gelatin off my body because I think it's going to take ages. I'm trying to just peel it, but it really hurts. So I think I'm going to use micellar water. The micellar water is working, but it still hurts. This is awful. <laughs> I resorted to the towel because I'm lazy. So I think I got all the gelatin off. Look how red I am. But I'm going to go take the rest of the face makeup off and then I'll be done. Let's take this off. It's time for the nails. I need to pop these off. There we go. Next, the contacts. Come on, yay. Time to take the costume off. Ah, this looks so funny. <laughs> and time for the makeup. I feel like this makeup, because of the nose, I look like multiple characters. Art the clown from Terrifier and the penguin. <laughs> Let's get this nose off. <laughs> Remove the Grand High Witch with me. I have never been happier to remove a makeup look in my whole life. It's 11 a.m. I started this at 10 o'clock last night. There's no better way to remove thousands of rhinestones than with a peel-off mask. Because there's no way I'm sitting here picking all of these off. The magic combo today is Elmer's glue and liquid latex. I'm gonna put a layer of glue down to protect my skin. But first, some rhinestone sounds. Bye-bye to the lashes. First up, the glue. And I'm only doing this because I'm allergic to latex. I'm kind of just letting it ooze between the rhinestones. I really hope this works. Oh Lord. Glue is on, now the latex. I'm gonna paint it on, wait for it to dry, and I'll be back. While this dries, meet me in part two for the peel. <laughs> Time for everybody's favorite bit, the removal. <laughs> These first, so I can talk. And my lashes. <laughs> Oh, 
I have absolutely soaked underneath this board cap with adhesive remover. I tugged my board cap off last time and I'm not playing that game again. So hopefully it will come off easily. Let's go. Oh my God. <sighs> Yum. This will sound grim. <laughs> if they want to go show their grown-ups instead of saying parents or mom and dad. This has been a hot topic in my comments lately. There are those that really appreciate that I say it, and there are others who are confused as to why it's necessary. When I first started doing this job 11 years ago, I would say, would you like to go show your parents? And honestly, you'd be surprised how many kids were in fact not with their parents whether it was grandparents or older siblings, friends, foster parents, I was wrong a lot of the time and the child would always correct me. But the thing that made me vow to never say mom and dad or parents unless I was absolutely sure, well, that happened about six years ago. I had just finished painting a little girl. She was four or five and she was with an adult woman who I assumed was mom. When I asked her if she wanted to go show her mom, the happy princess that had just been standing in front of me immediately disappeared. And she looked at me and said, that's not my mom. My mom's an angel now. I live with my auntie. It only took that one time for me to know that that was a mistake I never wanted to make again. I wanted to talk about this because I get hundreds, if not thousands of comments about it, which tells me that not enough people have made this very simple change. Scenarios like this can be applied to so many other professions besides face painting. And saying grown up instead of mom or dad includes everybody and excludes nobody. Plus, you have the added bonus of possibly creating a really special bonding moment between a child and their caregiver. And that's it. Feel free to go show this video to your grown up and have the best day. Let's remove this look. I literally cut one of my wigs in half for this and it's like pinned up with like a million things. Honestly, no better feeling than that. I'm gonna miss these eyes and the nose. And this is the makeup that we're left with. I'm gonna go wash this off my face ASAP. <laughs> it's that time again, time to remove experiment 199. Yum, the saliva is all glycerin, so I just have to wipe as much of it off as I can. <laughs> I'm just gonna soak underneath it with adhesive remover and then hopefully just pull it off. I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to remove this in one swoosh. Let's have a go. Oh. 
too. <laughs> I'm gonna hop in the shower. All clean, now I just need to moisturize. Like a lot. <laughs> Bye. A heart speed to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher. The night's young and it's just begun. As she puts her hand in mine We wanna chase the night